I promise this episode of Two Minute Warning will be way less painful to watch than Fergie singing the national anthem at the All-Star Game. Start the clock. Team LeBron beat Team Steph 148 to 145 Sunday in the All-Star Game. James scored 29 points and hit the go-ahead layup, winning his third All-Star Game MVP award. But he didn't just shut up and dribble. In fact, even his shoes had something to say. They said, more than an athlete. How's that for meddling in politics? Did someone say meddling? Because for the second consecutive Winter Olympics, the U.S. men's hockey team has failed to medal. Team USA's run came to an end Tuesday night in Pyeongchang after a 3-2 shootout loss to the Czech Republic in the quarterfinal round. At least they went down fighting. Instead of going up in flames. Danica Patrick's final NASCAR race at the Daytona 500 on Sunday ended in a multi-car wreck. But don't write her off as Aaron Rodgers' new girlfriend just yet. The 35-year-old Patrick is the only woman to start the Daytona 500 from the pole, lead in laps in the race, and is the highest finishing female in the 60 years of the race. Wow. I'm still trying to figure out parallel parking. Now from a car wreck to an absolute dumpster fire. For those who don't know, for about four years, former Louisville basketball director of operations, Andre McGee, organized parties for Louisville players and recruits. Those parties included women paid to strip and asked to have sex with UofL players and recruits. And now Louisville is forced to vacate all of its records and 123 victories from 2011 to 2015, including their 2013 title. But wait, there's more sexual delinquency where that came from. Actually, it's coming from the Dallas Mavericks organization. Yes, the organization, not the team itself. I think they should take a tip from the Cavs and clear the roster of any and all possible liabilities. But I better wrap it up there because if I wanted to talk about rampant sexual misconduct in the world of sports, it wouldn't be hard to find hours of content. Thanks so much for watching Two Minute Warning. I'm Danielle Alvare, and I'll be back next week with a brand new episode. Until then, remember, bribing recruits with strippers is a cardinal sin.